Welcome to 6th of April's Golly Blessing. How about being an instrument in our life and doing everything which we do? So instrument is something which doesn't think by itself and play by itself, right? So there's an artist who takes the instrument and plays the instrument. Similarly here the artist is Godfather. But we have been saying in the field of devotion that it is God who is holding our strings and he's the one who's pulling the strings. But is that really true? We have to ask ourselves. The time when we use greed, the time when we use hatred or taking revenge or jealousy, is that God making us do that? Can we say that? Or is it the shaitan or the satan or the ravan within us which is making us act in those ways? What could be your answer? When God gives us the wisdom and he says use purity, use divinity, use divine qualities, use divine powers to handle any situation and handle any relationship, even your health, even your wealth, then we can say that it is God who is making us an instrument to do the things as per his guidance, his wisdom, his knowledge. And when we are using the opposite of that, when we are using not the good qualities but the bad qualities, they cannot be called as qualities actually, the bad bad methods. So that's the time when we can say that it is not God who is holding our strings. It is we who are holding our strings or we have given the strings to the shaitan or the satan or the ravan. So God here says, may you be an instrument in everything you do and easily carry out the biggest task of all with the awareness of Karavanhar. Any task, small or big, can be done by thinking of the self as an instrument but when we think of ourselves as the owners or the ones who have the intellect, who have the intelligence, who have the smartness of doing it on our own and we don't need anybody and I can do it on my own, then that's where ego comes in. That's where we instantly go towards the wrong direction and the repercussions of it are seen in the future and sometimes instantly. So God says, Bab Dada, Bab means God, Father and Dada means the eldest brother that is Adam or Brahma, is carrying out the biggest task of establishment as Karavan Har, one who inspires us to do things. And he makes you children Karan Har, one who carries out the task. But whom would you choose to get your work done? Wouldn't you hire somebody who is good enough, who is talented enough, who has the knowledge, who has the wisdom, who has the experience and who is reasonable, right? So similarly over here, God also hires us as Brahmin souls to carry out the task of purifying the world. But we need to have those qualities, those virtues, those talents for the work to be done. And that's where it depends whether God uses us or not, only on the basis of whether we are pure enough or not. So God says, you purify yourself and I'll make you an instrument. If you use impure methods, then I won't be holding your strings. It is somebody else who is holding your strings. And you know it very well. Who? The shaitan or the satan. The father and the children are combined in the word Karan Karavan Har. So he's getting the task done. So we are the Karan, we are the ones who do. And Karavanhar is the one who gets us done, who is God. It is the children's hands and the father's task. So we are just putting a hand and the whole intellect, whole guidance is God's. You children have received a golden chance to extend your hands of cooperation. But your experience is that the one who inspires you is making you do it, isn't it? It is he who gets it done through us. He's making you into instruments and making you move along. The instrument doesn't play by itself as we discussed in the beginning. Similarly over here, we cannot play by ourselves. But when we are using our own intellect, when we feel a little heavier, we feel anxious, we feel fearful, we feel, let's say, stressed, that's the time we should know that we have been not been using godly methods, but we have been using some evil methods to get the work done. That's a sign. The stress the depression, the tension, the anxiety, the fearfulness is a sign of the wrong path. Very easy to understand. One who inspires you is making you do it. He is making you into instruments and making you move along. He is with you as your companion in the form of Karavanhar in everything you do, provided we are using the right godly wisdom methods to do it. Only then he is a companion, otherwise he leaves the hands. Or let's say, he doesn't leave his hand, but we remove our hand and give it away to the Satan or the Ravan on our own. 
to learn more methods about how to be protected and how to be in the right way, in the right direction and be connected to God always. Do come over and learn this beautiful art at Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti with this.